sales formula. I'm going to be going over everything with you guys that we use at our agency. So before we get started with reels, it's super duper important that you have a profile that is optimized because you can be putting out this wonderful content and people are seeing your reels on their feed or on the explore page, but then they're going to your profile and they're like, uh, who is this person? I'm not following them because they're just so turned off by what's there. It's so important to optimize your profile. So there's six key points, actually five here that I want to talk about. And then there's a little bonus, but first and foremost, stop it, doggy. We're going to talk about your profile picture. Um, not too, too important what your profile picture is, but I mean, if you have a leaf as your profile and then someone sees you in the feed, they're more than likely going to be like, who's that weirdo? And just keep scrolling. So make sure you're using a clear photo of yourself. If you're product-based, you know, use a picture of your logo oh, real quick. There you go. Um, but make sure, you know, you use something that's clear and concise little tidbit here that a lot of people don't talk about, but when you show up on Instagram stories, what seems to pop out is when people have their face and then like a color behind them. So I know you guys have probably seen those profiles where like there's someone with a bright pink background. They are doing that strategically to catch your attention. Um, all you have to do in Canva is go to uh, make an Instagram post size, upload your picture, remove the background, and then change the background to like a color that's related to your brand. That will make you pop out. Um, mine right now, you can see it's that beige color in the background. I probably could do something brighter to pop out a little more, but those were professional photos I had done and I didn't want to touch it. Um, your username is super important too. If you guys notice, my username is social marketing queen. That was very strategic. I created it a long time ago, back in 2014, when I wanted people to find me for social media or marketing. So hence social marketing queen came above. Someone else had already had social media queen. So I had to use that. Um, so using a keyword in your username is super smart. If you're a realtor, using real estate or realtor in there will help you. Um, or, you know, if you just want to use your first and last name there for your username, that's great too, or your product, your business name. Now, when you get to the page name, this is all in the edit your profile, by the way, when you get to your page name, you have to be strategic here because Instagram can index those keywords. So this is a picture of mine. Mine right now says Caitlin. And then I put a little line and then it's actually says social media agency now because I want to boost our social media agency, but it used to say social media coach, but go ahead and pick a keyword, you know, that relates to you and think of what your target audience would be searching for. That's what you want to be found for. So use that as your page name. And then your bio is 150 characters. The way that I break it up is what do you do? How do you help people? Why should they follow you? And then any accolades, any awards, your experience, something that makes them say, oh, I want to use her or him. And then your link in bio, send them to your website, send them to your stand store. That's my online store where people can purchase from me or send them to your Facebook page if you don't have any of that. Now, lastly, and this one is super important for Reels specifically, a lot of people complain that they don't have trending audio on their reels page. And if you don't in your business page, go ahead and switch your category to entrepreneur. You can see right down here where I have a screenshot here of what, what it's going to look like. That is going to allow you to use any audio ever on, on reels. And as long as you just click this profile display all hidden, no one's even going to know that you chose that as your category. So what makes a good reel or TikTok? Really a lot of this stuff that I'm teaching you to get today works for TikTok as well. Um, and there's four main things that we're going to go over today. First is timing of the reel. Then we're going to talk about transitions and movement, your audio choices, and then the value of the content that you're bringing. So timing of reels. This is probably one of the most important parts of a reel. Uh, like I said, you can do up to 90 seconds, but what is working for me personally? Now, keep in mind, this con this content that I'm sharing with y'all today is my own personal experience and the experience of our clients, but seven to 15 seconds long has been what is performing best. And when I say performing best, I mean, has the highest views, the most engagement, the most shares. It's those shorter reels. 
Now, the reason that is, is because the algorithm looks at the watch time of your reel. So if you think about it this way, imagine a reel is 30 seconds long your audience is going to have to watch at least like 25 seconds of that for the algorithm to think that they almost watched the whole video. So 25 seconds is a long time to keep someone's attention unless you're posting some good crap. Now, if you're doing a seven second reel, you're only gonna have to get at least like five seconds of watch time for that reel to look like it was almost completed watching. So you see what I'm going with that? If you're doing a shorter reel, you really only need to keep their attention for five seconds. This is truly hacking the algorithm. Now, am I coming at this from a place of serving value? Not, not exactly. I'm more so like, hey, this is what's going to make the algorithm love you and share your reels to more people. Now, if you are doing these short reels, there is still a way to provide value and not just be like a five second video that tricks the algorithm. You can say something like, for example, this right here, the biggest myth that's costing you views tell them something real quick and then say, read the rest in caption or refer to caption or look down at my caption. Then from there, you can use your caption to explain and really provide all of the value. So you've caught their attention. You got that watch time. They saw your hook and now they're reading your caption. So more than likely, if they're sitting there reading your caption and that's even value driven, your what's happening now is your reel is looping. So they're seeing that this person is watching your reel like 5,000 times because they took a while to read through all of your caption. So the algorithm's like, oh my God, this reel is performing really good. Let me keep showing it to other people. So that is one hack of the algorithm is to make it shorter so that they are getting that watch time. Now, just so you guys know, I did do some research here and I looked up some reports and it is reported that the average length of a successful reel is 16 to 17 seconds long. 85% of video is watched without sound. So that's super duper important to understand because if they don't have sound and you don't have any text overlay over your reel or any kind of like keywords popping up, then they're not even gonna know what your reel is about and they're just gonna keep scrolling. And when I posted this, by the way, I had a ton of bigger accounts commenting saying like, yep, you know, feeding my baby, I always have it on mute or other people, yep, I'm at work. I have it on mute. So a lot of people have their stuff on mute. So that's why it's so important to use closed captions if you want to, or at least put a title or a hook on your video. And I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I mean by that. But all of my videos, every single one of them have a title or hook at the beginning. And then there's keywords throughout the video so that anybody that's watching my reel on mute knows what it's about. And I'm going to show you guys a few examples, every single one of these reels has a hook on it. New Instagram update. Did you know this about Instagram? Steal the reel. How do I convert my followers to sales? With the text, make sure it's easy to read, short and sweet, solves a pain point, or it's relatable. In the early stages of reels, when they first started coming out, I think why my profile went off is because I was getting super crazy with my transitions. I was like, wearing a hat, flipping it over, and then being in a new outfit. But those reels were so time consuming. And I'm so glad that phase of Instagram is over because I could not keep up with it. As I wrote here, move within three to five seconds of your reel. If you're not moving, then what you can do is something like how to get discovered on Instagram. Pause it for a minute, go to a different area in your home, start recording again. Here's step one, you're gonna do blah, blah, blah let go, go to another section. Here's step two. So you see um, those, that's called transitioning. You're going to different, you're getting different backgrounds. You're keeping their attention with movement. The other piece of the pie with reels is your audio. And this is probably the most important part of reels, which I hate that for us, that we have to stick to these trends, but I've tested a lot of original audio and I've tested trending audio. And I'm not saying that the original audio hasn't worked for me because it has, but I just see better success when I use audio that is trending. So some of you are probably like, what is trending audio? That is when you look at a reel in your newsfeed and you see this little arrow right here by the audio, that means that the audio is trending and you want to use it. Now, 
there's two different things you need to know about trending audio. One is if it is an oversaturated trending audio, meaning it has a million uses already, don't, don't feel like you have to jump on that because what's going to happen is you are now a needle in a haystack. There are a million other people using this trend and you just, boop, you're just lost in, in it. What I tend to do is I stick to trending audio that is at minimum less than 20,000 views, but my sweet spot is like, not views, uses. My sweet spot is under 10,000 uses. Original audio is not a bad thing either. What original audio means is that you have uploaded a video using your own audio. Maybe you were doing a voiceover, Maybe you were at Disney World recording a video and you just uploaded the reel without adding music to it. That would be considered original audio. Now, original audio doesn't always perform crappy. It, I've had reels go off really well with original audio. Now, which one are those? I'll tell you, and you guys can write this down. The first one for original audio that's super important, I did not put this in the slide share. I'm just telling you guys this because it's it's what I've seen work. Um, Doing like a tutorial where you're having to talk and explain things, that's original audio. And those typically work well because you're giving value. You're teaching someone something that needs to know how to do something. So that would be original audio. Um, another one, which a lot of creators were jumping on in the beginning. I jumped on it too. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting on the floor for a minute, guys. Um, in the very beginning, when when Instagram was trying to push out original audio, a lot of people would like go record their own voices or their own sounds that other people would go steal and use. So for example, have y'all ever been scrolling and you've seen a reel that says something like, they're sipping on the Stanley. Have y'all heard that audio where they're like sipping a straw? That, that was an original audio. Someone recorded that because they knew that someone else would probably try to use it for their reel. So if you're super smart and creative and like can think of, you know, edgy original audio like that, that's, that's smart to do as well. Um, I did one in the beginning as well that said something like, if you want this, you need to do this. That was my original audio. People liked it. They started saving my audio and using it. And what happened is because a lot of people started using my audio, my audio started trending then at that point. And everyone that was using it was using an audio by social marketing queen. So that got me reach that got me in front of a lot of new people. And then people started going to my profile and then I got followers from it. Valuable content. This is what's going to help you in the end, guys. This is where I was talking about. Don't use stuff that people can find off Google. Be authentic educate them with something that they probably couldn't find anywhere else. Show your personality, be who you are to you, be authentic. Don't try to be like everybody else. Um, also don't feel like you have to overly produce your reels. This is not YouTube. This is vertical video from your phone. So however you want to get it, do it. When you are doing reels or TikToks, vertical video is the best. Uh, if you do horizontal, you end up having a black screen on the top and bottom of that video. And the algorithm can pick up on that and they don't think that it's true mobile video, so they won't push it out. I can guarantee you, you won't get as many views as that. Um, another thing there is, you know, in our membership, we have some Canva templates. Um, if someone's not wanting to like record that day, they could use one of our Reels templates. And although I love these Reels temp templates and we spend a lot of time putting them together, I do feel like Instagram can read that that is from coming from Canva and it's not true video. Can you show an example of the Canva template that you're talking about? Yes, I will show you guys. Actually, yeah, we can do that right now. Even if you're not in our membership, you guys can make these yourself. So this is what happens when you do join our membership, you get a login to circle and there's like a welcome page there that tells you how to use everything. We've got your content calendar for the month which looks like this. I'm just giving y'all a sneak peek of November's. Um, November was pretty heavy on salesy stuff because it's Black Friday month, um, but also like the giving part of Thanksgiving as well for the US people. 
Um, but what we do is we give you a training to do every week. We give you social media holidays, and then we give you like, hey, here's your template to use. Here's the idea behind it. Here's your caption. And then these are the trendy reels we send. Um, but you get this for the whole month, and there's five posts a week for you to copy, paste, steal, steal away. And then we have um, things that you can run um, on top of your social media. Maybe it's an email campaign. Maybe it's a, a virtual event at your, whatever's going on, a Zoom event. We just give you um, content that complements your social media. We also give posting recommendations, hashtags, and then some last little tips here. But let's keep going down. We've got a captions vault here. Uh, holiday theme captions, 20 catchy hooks for your content. We've also got 100 swipe and steal captions based on whatever your goal is. Um, trending audio vault. This is updated on a weekly basis. Apart from the timely reels, we're also just like, hey, you don't want to use our idea that, this week? That's cool. Here's some audio that's trending early. Um, and then we have our Canva templates. So we've got carousels in here, reels. So let me show you the reels real quick. Out of all of these templates, these are the reels that work the best for me. So let me just click on them real quick. These are called meme reels. I'm sure y'all have seen these. These were pretty popular like in the last year. I haven't seen, I still see them working, but I don't see a lot of people using them as much anymore. I like to use them when I don't feel like recording or maybe I didn't do my makeup that day. Um, so we'll give you a template like this where you can just change, uh, fill in the blank and then change with your stuff. Obviously we want you to change out your picture, your name and your username. Um, and then you just download these as an MP4 to your phone. And what you'll do is you'll just upload, like this is your reel right here. You do like a four second reel and you add audio to it and that's your reel for the day. And these are just, whether you use our membership or not and you go create your own, these perform really, really well guys. So I highly recommend meme reels. You can also change out the background here. You might even want to change out the GIF. If you have Canva, I'm going to show you a little hack real quick. There is something on here called apps over here to the left. And if you just type in GIF, it will pop up the GIF app for you so that you can change this out to whatever you want. Make sure you're engaging with other accounts. You're not just posting and ghosting. I think that's a really big tip that I forgot to uh, put in here. A lot of people will post on Instagram and then just throw their phone. It's kind of what I do with TikTok because I don't play over there very much. Um, but the algorithm doesn't like that. It wants you to spend time on the app. It wants you to make, you know, build this community. So spending like 15 minutes a day commenting on other people's content, commenting in the explore feed, replying the stories, that's going to help, again, prime up your audience so that you get the engagement that you want as well. So you got to give a little to get a little. Now, as far as posting, um, I told you guys at the beginning, at least post three times per week. If you really want to get jiggy with it and challenge yourself, you could try doing twice a day for like 30 days and just see if you see a difference in reach and engagement. Um, always make sure you're including hashtags in your caption. I know that's a controversial topic. Some people say hashtags don't work, but we see hashtags working time and time again. Um, you can actually click on the insights of your reel once it's posted, and you can see if people found your reel because of your hashtags. What it will do is it will say how people, it will show you how people found your reel, whether it was in their feed or the explore page or from a hashtag. So that will show you that your efforts are actually working. Um, and then truly, truly, I'm a huge believer in do not recreate the wheel. Find what is working for other people in your specific industry and do what they're doing, but in your own way, with your own spin on things, with your own audio, but, but find out, you know, what's their most successful reel? What were they talking about? What do your niche audience want to learn about? There's already people out there that are doing it. Don't recreate the wheel, but don't steal content as well. Hashtag strategy, if you do need help with hashtags, this is how we break them up on our reels. We do try to use all 30 if we can. Um, three to five of those are hashtags that are specific to the post that you posted. So if you're posting about baby dolls, you're going to be using hashtag baby dolls in there. Um, the next three to five hashtags are specific to your industry. 
Uh, maybe, you know, toy store would obviously be the industry for baby dolls. And then location-based keywords are super important. So make sure that you're doing hashtag Orlando, Florida, hashtag Chicago. Um, if you're not location-based, that's fine. Start targeting bigger cities around the area that you want to target. Um, for me, example, I can work with anybody around the world, obviously, but I do target big cities in the U.S. because I'm from the United States. Um, and then the last two are just keywords that are related to your industry, your niche, whatever you like to talk about. For me, that would be hashtag social media manager, hashtag social media agency. So you can take that into account for yourself. And then just to wrap this up, I would love for you guys all to join our membership. You get a monthly content calendar, weekly trendy reels, captions, Canva templates, live and on-demand trainings. And I also give expert hacks in there, whether it's another supplemented email a week, or I drop it into our, um, our dashboard, but I'd love to have you guys in there. We have people in there now they've on my last training. They said they love it. It's amazing. I'm already a member. It's made my life so easy. So I know that it helps people, um, get their time back when they are in the membership. But do you guys have any questions for me before we close out today? What do you think about CapCut? That's a good question, Michelle. Gracie is our CapCut queen. She uses it for a lot of our clients. Um, I was asking her today, actually, what she likes about it and what she doesn't like. She mostly likes it. I think she said she uses it mostly for the meme reels. Like y'all know when you see those people like dancing in front of a video, those are so easy to make. If you download Cup, CapCut, all you have to do is upload your video into it and the cutout person is already in there. So CapCut is another Reels template editor that I would say for beginners that works really well. Um, how many Reels do you offer in the membership? We give you three Reels per week that are like strategic Reels, but then we also add trending audio in there too. So it's honestly a lot of Reels per week if you look at it that way, but three dedicated Hey, here's your reel. Hey, here's how to use it. Here's your caption. Here's your industry examples.